It was one of those those people who also saw the 7th of October war footage and also sort of treated it like he'd sort of seen a box office. And, well, you know, there's also this. Um, look, what are these people actually saying to the extent they're saying anything? We should ask them if they would ever appear and be questioned by anyone. We should ask them what they're saying. Are they saying that the Israelis made it up? Yeah. Are they saying that this is untrue? Are they saying that the testimony of people, including, by the way, leftists like them in the South who were living in the kibbutzim that were mainly leftist communities, by the way, uh, so so much for solidarity if it's yeah. Jews. Um, but uh, it, are they saying that these people made it up? Are they saying that the bodies I've seen in the morgues are uh, fake? Are they saying that the, 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 by the way, they're lucky that they haven't seen more of the footage. I've seen plenty more of the footage of what happened that day and there there are cutaways in the videos partly to spare uh the journalists who, who have viewed them mm. but i can assure you having seen it myself it's no easy footage i've seen plenty of conflict and uh the manner in which hamas carried out these attacks as well as the brutality of it is something you don't need to review like you're reading you're reviewing the latest marvel film yeah. Um, but I'd like to know what these people are actually saying, because I'll tell you what I think they're doing. I think they're carrying out Holocaust denial in real time. At the end of the Holocaust, when the Americans realized that they needed to film what they found in the camps, the liberated camps, they did so because famously the American leaders said, we will have to capture this because a day will come otherwise when people will deny it. Yeah. Well, look at what is happening in real time now. The biggest massacre of Jews since World War II. And we have Owen Jones and his friends at Navarra all trying to find a way to deny it in real time. It, it is it These is quite are disgusting. Morally, morally sick. Well, it's also very confusing when you had, I mean, I went on the uh, march against anti-Semitism on Sunday because why wouldn't you? Well, we've seen that massive rise in anti-Semitism. People say, well, why haven't you gone on the march, the pro-Palestinian march? Well, well, that's a march about a, a foreign affairs thing. That's not about people here. I'm not giving, a, I'm not giving an opinion on, on those events. I'm talking about people in my own country, my fellow citizens, feeling afraid and scared, quite rightly, and, and wanting to show solidarity with them. That seems to me to be uh, something that's fairly obvious to go and do if you're a decent-minded human being. The BBC told their staff, no, you can't go on that march, same as you can't go on the pro-Palestinian ones, because it's political. Because for some reason now, being anti-racist, which is what anti-Semitism, just being anti-racist, is, is, is political. And yet, and yet, extraordinarily, uh, Have I Got News For You uh, will be uh, this week, is going to be uh, hosted by uh, a comedian called um, Gaz Khan. Apparently he's, quote, best known for his BBC3 comedy, Man Like Mabin. I don't think he is best known. But he's been on social media repeatedly commenting in support of Palestine since the Hamas terror attacks uh, took place. Now, he's entitled to do that. He's, I believe in freedom of speech. However, he's talking about this is ethnic cleansing of the Palestinians. This is textbook genocide. Um, uh, we've said these are war crimes. Uh, he, he's, he's talked about, he's retweeted about the tragic loss of innocent lives, um, both Palestinian and Israeli, the end of Israeli occupation and apartheid. Talk about cleansing, genocide, war crimes are Jewish. Now, he's allowed to go on the BBC presenting one of their big shows, that's fine. He's written those things. But, but BBC staff, BBC employees aren't allowed to go on a march against anti-Semitism. What does that tell you about yeah. the BBC? Um, I, have I got news for you? I haven't watched it in years. I don't well, no one has. I mean, it's, uh, it's so odd, so predictable and unfunny and uh, irrelevant, really. The BBC always makes institutions of programmes at the very moment they should uh, uh, cancel them, but it's just a problem they have. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I'd actually like to go to the substance of what this, I've never heard of this guy, I don't know who he is, and he sounds about as funny as a hernia. But um, he, uh, he uh, we should address the, the specifics of what he said, because they're very revealing about him. There is no genocide going on in Gaza uh, unlike this putative comedian, I've been in Gaza and seen with my own eyes. There's a lot of bombing and house-to-house -house fighting in Gaza, but no genocide. And by the way, if he doubts my word on it, he could just look at the statistics of the population of Gaza. 
since the Israelis removed every last Jew from Gaza and handed over to the, the strip to the Palestinians in 2005, who promptly trashed everything and then voted in Hamas. So uh, there's an interesting question always. Um, since then, the population of Gaza has boomed, boomed. One of the reasons why everyone talks about the number of young people in Gaza is because there has been a population explosion in Gaza. There has, if so, morons like this have to decide whether the Israelis are committing genocide as they pretend, or whether the Israelis want to commit genocide but are the worst genocidists in history because they keep increasing the population of the place they're trying to genocide. And again, you can tell everything you know about a person from these sorts of statements when they claim there's a genocide that has not happened, when they claim that that that. that Gaza is a concentration camp, which would make it the only concentration camp in the world with beaches and shopping malls. Uh, when they claim that the that, that, that Palestinians are uh, treated as apartheid without even realizing that it's Hamas that is responsible for mistreatment of Palestinians within, within Gaza, as the PA is responsible for the mistreatment of Palestinians in the West Bank. Do morons like this even know that a few days ago, not far from here in the West Bank, two Palestinian men, including one of Ethiopian origin, were lynched in the streets by peaceful West Bank Palestinians, uh, um, who, who all then recorded it on their mobile phones? I am fed up of hearing these people making up, again, Holocaust revisionism in real time and claims about a Holocaust that is not happening and an, a genocide that is not happening. These are just political bodies, these people, vomiting out things that they have ingested at some point from the radical leftist media. And uh, I mean, as I say, I won't watch Have I Got News anyway, but watching it with this guy hosting, Wow, that'll be a fun evening. Yeah, I think there'll be more rounds of applause than actual laughter, as because as, that's left-wing comedy now. Douglas Murray, unfortunately, time is up. I could talk to you all day, and I'm sure my audience would uh, enjoy that. Uh, I really appreciate you joining us once again. Do you keep us posted on uh, developments on where, where you are uh, in Israel uh, and, uh, and uh, any more trips, certainly you've been to Gaza 